Hello and once again for the for another Hero Factory review. Now, I gave this guy some slight changes. He had this thing that actually made him to hold his weapon like that. And that piece broke, but I gave him but I had a better idea to make that to hold his hand, you know, because the, the, the hands kept falling off, and I got rid of the Metro feet, because the Metro feet keeps annoying me, and he couldn't move his legs, and that was a, that's one of the biggest cons about this guy, right, and that's how I felt with this guy, but this guy is your biggest villain of all of Hero Factory in 2010, that's that's cool. The coolest thing about this guy, Von Nebula, you can have him like I've always loved him bending over like that. And now he looks like some sort of villain thing that I actually saw a long time ago. And I love this. This is why I bought this guy. Uh I got him he is the biggest baddie of all. Uh, yeah. I gave him some CCBS pieces because the last the uh, the last time he had these kept breaking, but this is still sturdy. Oh. Now he's got Barok pieces. He's got a bar he's got two Barok shields. It's that's cool. That's neat. Uh, yeah, he's... And then the spikes. Instead of... Uh, yellow and red like Von Nebula did. I mean, exploded. It's dark blue and black. That's nice. And yeah, my Von Nebula is going through into dust. I apologize. Uh, forgive me. Uh, yeah. He's got, he's got Hydraxon's mask. Which is cool. I will get Hydraxon when I'm into 2007. To, so far with Gen 1 I'm in, I'm up to 2003. Don't worry. Reviews are coming for 2002 after 2001. After a long break. But anyway, he's got. he's also got the Toa... He's got Onua feet. This is Onua's feet I'm gonna call it as. Because Onua had this feet first. And he's got some metro legs on him, or arms. And what's con about this? He's got some open... These things. These open pins. They're not really covered or anything. And his leg, the fact about his leg is also a con. Is it's You can see right through it. It's gappy. What's what's a pro? He has this. He has a Paraka feet, which is nice. I like that. Really nice, and it goes with him. And the thing I not a. Uh, uh, it's got a piece that not hanging on, which is his head. Wait. I don't know how that disconnected. Now, the thing I don't like about the back, it's pretty gappy. It's not what I would expect. And another con that he has this piece sticking out, which I don't understand. But, but this guy is worth the money if you want him. Uh, only the pieces if you want him. Now, this guy, is your average Makuda. He's your Teradax for Hero Factory. But I can't tell in the episodes and the Bionicle film. I don't know if Von Nebula or Makuda is better than each other because there was a bit of confusingness with Von Nebula's character in Hero Factory. Uh, he wants a revenge, 
I don't know why, he just left Hero Factory, became his big villain, and the plot line was kind of lazy, but it had its moments, but this guy, I'm not sure about his personality, but this guy is actually not bad, um, that's all I gotta say with this guy, he's pro he's one of my favourite villains, uh, he's one of my favourites, uh, I'll give you a comparison, compare whatever it's pronounced, with Bakuda. And as you can see, they are almost the same height. No, they are the same height. And yes, he's wearing a gold, whatever mask that is, the Mask of Shadow. The reason of this, I'll tell you late. I'll tell you when we get to the Makuta review. But, yeah, which one do you like the most? Do you like Makuta? Or do you like Von Nebula? As the set. And on the on TV, who did you like the most between this guy or that guy? Which one, which personality did you like? But even so, he also had his confusingness in the Bionicle Mask of Light film. That uh, Vodoran actually just recently po pointed it out. Oh, and the arms are gappy too. But, won't matter. So yeah, that's all I've got to say about uh, Von Nebula. It is I, Nathan Sutton, doing a uh, in the next in the next video will be this whole bunch all of 2010 Hero Factory characters. So it is I, Nathan Sutton. See you later, guys.